Right now, a crucial test is underway to figure out if the Artis Artemis 1 mission can attempt another launch. NASA is testing to see if they have fixed a hydrogen leak that ended the first two launch attempts. All this in hopes of getting the SLS rocket in the air in less than a week. News 6's James Barvero with us live from the Kennedy Space Center. How are things looking so far, James? We have good news to report right now, Justin. It looks like after reporting another hydrogen leak just after 10 this morning, NASA says they took about an hour to warm those fuel lines up back there at pad 39B. And right now they say they are continuing to add that hydrogen. And the leak detected currently is very small. It's small enough to the point that it's within limits to continue this fueling test. And it doesn't have to be ruined like the launch attempt back on September the 3rd. So that's promising for NASA because they have until 3 o'clock or so. You factor in about an hour delay, maybe 4 or so, to have any chance to potentially launch the rocket for the very first time, finally, next Tuesday, they have to pass this fuel test. They have to prove they can fuel the rocket for the first time. It's been well documented how the hydrogen fueling has plagued this rocket's launch attempts and the testing going back to the spring. We've also told you for all factors to line up for this rocket to maybe finally get off the ground, NASA also needs a waiver from the Space Force so that the space launch system doesn't have to travel back inside the vehicle assembly building to recertify the batteries that power the rocket's ability to self-destruct should there be an emergency after liftoff. So after a promising start this morning, it was about two hours until that fuel leak was detected. NASA did hit a bump in the road, as they have so many times, but they appear, at least, to be working through it. So that's the good news right now. They say they're about a quarter done filling the hydrogen side of the rocket with its liquid hydrogen. So we have a lot to continue to look at, and things can change at any moment. But for right now, it's a good sign. Our next update will come with you later on News 6 at 4 o'clock. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6. James, thank you so much.